On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, we once again stopping at a couple local tackle shops for more holiday gift ideas. I had a chance to fish south of Montauk again this past weekend, and I'll give you my full report and our correspondence check-in from around the island, all here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. If you like what you've been seeing here on our YouTube channel, please like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And please subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine, which, by the way, is a great holiday gift for the angler in your life. Your local tackle shops have some great gear for the holiday season. We stopped in at a few to get some recommendations for the angler that you know. Here's some great holiday gift ideas we have. Some uh, dial-up popping plugs. You can use these off of the surf, off of the beach, for striped bass, bluefish. We also have uh, super strikes that are also uh, for the surf guys. We have mojos for the avid uh, trolling guy. These work very well in the spring and fall time for striped bass. We have a full line of frog tog waders for the surf guys. We're fully stocked for all your shopping needs. Come on down and see us. This is boga grip. It's 30 pound. You can grab the fish and wait it at the same time. It's good uh, for the gift card or gift uh, uh, Acura plier. The lighter, cut it, braid line. Uh, the real pieces. The new one from uh, um, a piece made in the USA uh, from um, the new jigging rod, uh, 400 grams, really light and a lot of power. And this is the better place to come down and buy your gift for the season. Uh, we open seven to seven right now, uh, seven days. So waiting for you and family waiting for Christmas too. This weekend I was able to take advantage of the weather window with Captain John Padawano and friends. We fished south of Montauk and had an okay pick at the TOG. I heard the bite was much better the day before when Captain John Padawano wanted a 14.6 pounder which takes honors on the yearly standings board at the Westlake Marina. We still made do and I had a seven pounder that took a white crab on a snafu rig. We ended the trip with a limit of tog and a near limit of sea bass. Looks like we might have another good window of weather with mild temperatures this upcoming weekend too. Keep in mind the tog season in the New York Bight is open until the 22nd. The surf fishing on the island is really starting to slow down all over. I didn't get any reports from the east end, but I did hear the Moses and Gilgo stretch had fish into the slot range while the west end near the city and Long Beach had keepers with some oversized fish mixed in too. These fish are becoming far and few in between though. I didn't get any word on herring from the north shore, but I did hear Northport, Mount Sana, and Little Neck Bay had schoolies in their backwaters. If I had to guess, the resident schoolies are starting to set up too in the rivers around the island. Now let's check in with Captain Timothy O'Rourke from Montauk. Tim. Thank you, Matt. Well, greetings, everybody. Uh, found my way back from Mexico. Um, had a really good trip down there. Um, on the local front, I've kind of been touching base with a couple guys briefly, so I'll keep it short and sweet, but still some incredible late fishing, uh, black fish and tog fishing, uh, plenty of sea bass, um, reports of double-digit black fish, Limits of blackfish, limits of sea bass, so um, some incredible late season fishing. So if you have an opportunity to get out and get some good weather, I would uh, highly recommend you doing that. In regards to my trip to Mexico, uh, I was south of Cancun, kind of down around Belize. Um, if you're at all interested in fly fishing, um, this would be an incredible place to go. Some really good uh, opportunities of bonefish, plenty of bonefish, really cooperative eating bonefish. Um, great shots at permit, um, as anybody who's really targeted permit knows, kind of more difficult fish to catch, but uh, the friend of mine who I was traveling with, he was successful with his permit quest, and just a beautiful place. Um, I haven't traveled to Mexico, I have to say it was probably one of the most enjoyable trips I've been on. Um, 
everybody down there was incredible. The guides we were working with were incredible. And if you're uh, at all thinking of doing a fishing trip down to Mexico, I would highly encourage you to do that. So I'll have a couple pitches on that trip. And um, everybody, uh, I will talk to you next week. All right, Matt, I'll bring it back to you. Thank you. From Sag Harbor, we have Will and Andy. Guys. Thanks, Matt. So uh, luckily, we're back. We're reunited. Will is back from his long break. Um, so, you know, still a pretty strong bite. We still have some pretty strong cod action, some pretty strong sea bass action, especially by Block Island Montauk. And, um, you know, if you brave the cold, put that fell weather gear on, uh, you know, I think it's really worth it. The bite's been awesome. Some people, you know, filled up full coolers with sea bass and cod. So really a very, very good bite. Awesome. Yeah. And don't forget guys, there's still uh, ghost hunting, ghost busting. There's those blue fed out there. People are hitting it hard on jig and pop and keeping it very, uh, very serious throughout December. So that's still an option. And lastly, there's always fresh water, uh, tons of different kind of uh, lakes and ponds and, and streams throughout Long Island. So fly fishing and, and typical kind of spin gear is, is still an option. So there's still a lot out there. The season's far from over and we got a whole other kind of off season and winter grind ahead. Thanks, Matt. Now back to you. From Shinnecock, let's check in with Mike Dean. Mike. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Well, unfortunately, that time of year in terms of fishing, uh, obviously a lot of nice uh, holiday stuff coming up. But uh, it does seem like the fat lady has sang. Uh, most of the bass have left. There are still a couple of small fish here and there off the beach. Um, you know, a few residents back in the bay. Uh, but for the most part, it's over. A tremendous season. Well, I didn't catch as many fish as last year. There were uh, better quality fish in terms of uh, size. Was very happy with, um, you know, fishing smarter, fishing more effectively through, you know, um, logs, you know, advice that I've gotten from friends. And the success this year is not from all from lessons learned, but you know, also from just a great community of, uh, of anglers that we have here on Long Island and uh, you know, helping people out with spots, you know, what to look for um, in terms of patterns. So definitely really psyched for uh, what I accomplished this season, able, being able to share it with uh, all of you guys also very, very cool. So um, what to do now? <laughs> um, you know, definitely had some uh, emotional and moral support going on throughout the local fishing community of what to do. Uh, there's opportunities with white perch, a lot of freshwater opportunities. Some of these small stripers that stay here year round uh, are still worth going after. It's a lot of time to not get many fish, but uh, always fun to, to wet a line. Plenty of opportunities to uh, get a little organized. You could see I could I could use swapping out hooks, swapping out, swapping out uh, split rings, you know, what now, tying up bucktails. So um, hopefully some of the shows will happen this year, even though, you know, the COVID, it does seem to be not wanting to go away. So, um, you know, keep an eye on our website and uh, for updates on, on all of that. Um, there's also still a lot of, uh, you know, wreck fishing going on. A lot of head boats between Montauk all the way, you know, out west, Chiefshead Bay Area, Blackfish, Tog, Cod. Um, so definitely those opportunities are around. And um, if anyone's looking to do any of those trips, feel free to reach out to me on social media, point you in the right direction. And uh, that's about it. Happy holidays, everyone. Back to you. From the Fire Island area in Great South Bay, let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey, Matt. Uh, Fire Island report. It was a wild week last week. Uh, striped bass everywhere, bluefin tuna close to the beach. Uh, good blackfish on, on the off offshore pieces. So, uh, you know, it bodes well for this weekend. The weather this weekend is a little bit sketchy, but and striped bass season's open till the 15th. And I had great fishing last Sunday. Uh, nothing under slot size, all slot size fishing larger on bait and on the troll. So uh, it looks good if you can get out there this weekend. There's probably still some fish around and uh, it should be a decent catch. So that's about it for this week, Matt. Take care, catch them up. Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters has the fly and light tackle report along with a few great gift ideas for the holidays. Paul. Hello, Matt. Well, it is winter. We are in the early part of December, but a couple of, there are still a lot of fish out there. Uh, most people have been putting away their rods, and I get it, but if you really want to catch big stripers, this is the time. Now, Captain John McMurray and his uh, boat is out every morning. Uh, he's searching for those big stripers offshore, and he's doing well. Another captain in East Rockway, Captain Brian, 
He's been fishing the inside. He's been fishing around the Atlantic Beach Bridge in the Reynolds Channel, and he's doing snap jigging and fly fishing, and he's had a lot of bass. Not a lot of, not big, but a lot of bass. As far as freshwater goes, well, Anthony went up to, uh, uh, Big Anthony went up to uh, the Croton system up in Putnam County, and uh, didn't have a lot of success, but he really is trying to learn the area. But on the way home, he said, let me stop at the Mianus. And there, on a dry flies, Antonio's Quill Midge, which we will be tying in our fly tying classes, he was able to land two fish. As, uh, as far as the Connecticut, still fishing well. Uh, of course, it's going to fish well all went along. Uh, it's, it's one of these gems that we have here on Long Island. As far as uh, uh, the white perch starting to come in, I'm hearing reports more and more. As long as the ponds don't freeze or the rivers don't freeze, we should be able to catch some fish. Now, if you have what do you want to give for somebody special for Christmas, give them the gift of fly tying. River Bay Outfitters, we have the largest selection of fly tying material here on Long Island. We got some of the best vices here on Long Island. And we and and we have the classes to get you through the winter. If you like more information about these classes, please go to riverbayoutfitters.com and sign up for my newsletter. We're going to be starting in January, and it will run right through January, February, and March. So these are great classes, fresh and salt. So until then, tight lines, everybody. From Northport, we have Mark McGowan from Cow Harbor Bait and Tackle who has some great gift ideas too. Hey, this is a great time of the year to get your freshwater license renewed. Uh, it's, it goes into the program restocking, does a lot to help uh, the whole freshwater scene here in New York. So go in there, uh, make sure when you get, this is a great time also because remember all fishing permits, uh, those beach passes, um, outer beach permits, uh, night fishing, four by four. You gotta have your marine registry with you when you go to the parks. Otherwise, you're gonna sit online, and what's gonna happen? It's gonna be your turn, and eh, you're not gonna get in. So make sure that you check your registry. It's free, and uh, when you do get it, I encourage you to give uh, Freshwater a chance. Stick in your 25 bucks towards the state. It's a really great thing to go out and do. Um, as far as locally go, and you got some people still sticking it out, catching a bass here or there, that's always great to hear. Waiting for those herring, uh, target some of the shad. It's fun if you're into fly fishing, the shad are, you know, they're like a couple pounds, but uh, they're a great fight and you return them. <clears throat> Remember, American shad is put hit. Uh, possession prohibited. They're silver. A lot of people will be fishing them and they don't really know. And they're like, oh, there's bluefish here. It's not bluefish. It's American shad. You can't have them. Put them back in the water. Um, as far as uh, ideas, uh, we're getting a lot of questions. People are always uh, giving questions. It's coming in on Google, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Love them. Uh, one of the biggest things so folks are saying is, hey, listen, Mark, um, I don't have a bait and tackle shop that's nearby me that can really uh, take care of my services. There's something that I could do myself, um, or is it better to just ship it into you or drop off at the shop? Listen, I'm always about helping people. So it's good if you if you think you're mechanically inclined, maybe get some uh, uh, a little bit of oil and grease and start at the handle, maybe take off your spool if you got the conventional. You know what to do, soap and water never hurts. But uh, it, it uh, some of these YouTube videos, you gotta be really careful. Be, be, watch it a few times because sometimes they totally miss steps and then you're in the middle of uh, doing something with the best intentions it becomes a really big nightmare so um, another thing to do is really easy to do is if you think like your line is frayed or your line is breaking on the cast you can always check the tip of your rod it's an easy thing to do same thing with the guides particularly if you have ceramic guides you know uh, take a thread a piece of old braid uh, a piece of like a cotton shirt works too and guide it uh, like do in circles on the guide and what'll happen if it has a little nick or something it's gonna get caught up and you'll feel it so make sure that uh, you you follow the video and uh, it's an easy check and if you need it done we're always here for you You can always call the shop 631-239-1631 we're always here to answer your questions or be there for you uh, the winter time man we work our butt off all season so it's the first time this year we're we're closing the shop Sunday and Mondays to really be able to 
to get out, uh, do some hunting, uh, fishing, spend time with family, and just develop things for the next season. So uh, get all your stuff in between Tuesday and Saturday. We're going to do this from December 1st right through to uh, March 1st, and then it's going to be business as usual. Listen, I hope I help you out. Check everything out with the videos. Always follow us on Facebook or YouTube for helpful hints and things. And uh, if you're planning for the pre uh, previous season, it's always a great idea to go back into the reports. And you'll see them. They follow each week. They're very the chronologically. They're laid out beautifully. So you can get a head start on what to see for the next season. I hope to see you soon. Visit the shop. Send us your questions. We love to answer them. And until next time, I bid you all peace and tight lines. Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, has this report from the Western Sound and South Shore. There's a lot of, a lot of fish still in the Western Long Island Sound. Uh, water temps are probably in the 48 to 50, 51 degree range um, is what I'm seeing. So I think they're going to be here for a while. Plus next week's weather is looking great and the weekend ahead, uh, 60 degrees plus. Uh, you can't beat that in December, guys. Uh, this is your time to get out there. If you want a good lick or a good shot at uh, trying to catch some fish, you know, the East River is fun. Um, around the piers, around the bridges, docks. Um, you know, if you want to play with some schoolies and stuff like that, and occasionally you'll get a nice fish too. Um, but the time is now. Anyway, um, I haven't been out East. I don't know if I said that, but that's my report for today, guys. And... Uh, Happy holidays to you all. Bless all your families and friends. And uh, if you're still out there, tight lines. Catch them up. Back to you, Matt. Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. Remember to shop local this season and visit your tackle shop for the angler in your life. We will see you right here next week at thefisherman.com. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious anglers choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you.